Hey there! How was your score during the part 1? If you haven't seen that video, the link is on the description box. Time for the part 2. How about a little history? Did you know that it was during the 17th century when the Philippines took its first step in the plumbing profession? The Spaniards established a so-called walled city which is now known as Intramuros. It was a model community that uses European standards in plumbing installation. Plumbing took a great leap at the turn of the 20th century with the arrival of the American professionals to eradicate the emerging epidemics that engulfed the Philippines. With this, Governor General Harrison issued a letter of instruction on proper waste disposal on all municipalities. In 1902, the plumbing trade was duly recognized by the government setting in the city of Manila as the model community. The government then assigned master plumber John F. Haas to become the first chief of the Division of Plumbing Construction and Inspection. Again, John F. Haas was the first chief of division. In 1935, a set of Filipino master plumbers organized the National Master Plumbers Association of the Philippines, or the NAMPAP, which then initiated the Manila City Ordinance 2411, or the Plumbing Code of the City of Manila. Again, the plumbing code of the city of Manila was the Manila City Ordinance 2411. It was placed under the Department of Public Services in Manila. In 1954, the Third Congress of the Philippines approved the Republic Act No. 1378, which was signed by President Ramon Magsaysay. Again, President Ramon Magsaysay signed the Republic Act No. 1378 and was known as the Plumbing Law of the Philippines on June 18, 1955. It was on January 28, 1959 when the National Plumbing Code was approved by Malacanang. It assisted the passage of the law, creating NAWASA. Did you know what NAWASA stands for? It's National Waterworks and Sewerage Authority. RE 1378 or the National Plumbing Code of the Philippines was made as Referral Code of RA 6541 or otherwise known as the Building Code of the Philippines. In 1966, the NAMPAP president Jaime M. Cabasa spearheaded the updating of the revised National Plumbing Code. It was on October 1999 when the PRC or the Professional Regulation Commission adopted the revised National Plumbing Code. It was then approved last December 21, 1999 by President Joseph Hirsuto Estrada. Let's have a pre-test first. Can you guess what is the plumbing law of the Philippines? You're right. It's RA 1378. Who was the first chief of division of plumbing construction and inspection? It was John F. Haez. What was the model community that uses European standards in plumbing installations? It was Intramuros. Who was the governor general that issued a letter of instruction on proper waste disposal? It was Governor General Harrison. Governor General Harrison. What does NAWASA stands for? It stands for National Waterworks and Sewerage Authority. Remember to study the history of plumbing practice in the Philippines. Let us now proceed to our question session. Are you ready? Before we start, you should know that we will be answering some plumbing code questions. It will be composed of the basic knowledge in plumbing works. This subject is largely based on RA 1378 or the National Plumbing Code of the Philippines. It will be composed of 100 items with only 2 hours to answer. The aggregate weight of this subject is 10%. Let us start. Question 26. It is a small amount of pipe that exists between the threads of a pipe. It is also called a short nipple. A. Coupling. B. Shoulder. C. Pipette. Or D. Close nipple. The answer? It's B. Shoulder. Shoulder. It is a small amount of pipe that exists between the threads of a pipe. It is also called a short nipple. Shoulder. Question 27. What is the maximum number of fixtures allowed to be connected into any grease trap? A. 1. B. 3. C. 2 or D4? The answer? It's D4. 4. The maximum number of fixtures allowed to be connected into any grease trap is 4. Question 28. Cleanouts shall be designed to be gas and watertight without the use of any blank. A. Gasket. B. Washer. C. Packing. 
or D, all of the above? The answer? It's D, all of the above. Remember that cleanout shall be designed to be gas and watertight without the use of any gasket, washer, and packing. Question 29. FS for plumbing specification stands for what? A. Federal specification. B. Flange spigot. C. Feral stack. Or D. Flush siphonage. The answer? It's A. Federal specification. Federal specification. FS for plumbing specification stands for federal specification. Question 30. What is the required horizontal clearance of cleanout from an access door, trap door, or crawl hole? Is it letter A 6.1 meters? B 8.1 meters? C 10 meters? Or D 5 meters? The answer? It's A 6.1 meters. 6.1 meters. The required horizontal clearance of cleanout from an access door, trap door, or crawl hole is 6.1 meters. Question 31. ANSI stands for? Is it letter A American National Standards Institute? B Authority of National Sanitary Institute? C Association of National Sewerage International? Or is it D American National Sewerage Institute? The answer? It's A. American National Standards Institute. ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute. Question 32. This principle states that all premises for human habitation, occupancy, or use shall be provided with a supply of pure and wholesome water, neither connected with unsafe water supplies nor subject to hazards of backflow or back siphonage. A. Principle number 1. B. Principle number 2. C. Principle number 3. Or D. Principle number 4. The answer? It's principle number 1. Principle number 1. This principle states that all premises for human habitation, occupancy, or use shall be provided with a supply of pure and wholesome water, neither connected with unsafe water supplies nor subject to hazards of backflow or back siphonage. Principle number 1. Question 33. ECC stands for what? A. Effective cross connection. B. Enclosed circuit connection. C. Environmental Compliance Certificate. D. Elbow Corporation Cock. The answer? It's Environmental Compliance Certificate. ECC stands for Environmental Compliance Certificate. Question 34. That portion of the rainfall or other precipitation which runs off over the Earth's surface after a storm. Is it letter A. Rainwater? B. Stormwater? C. Greywater? D. Sewage? The answer? It's B. Stormwater. Stormwater. It is that portion of the rainfall or other precipitation which runs off over the Earth's surface after a storm. Stormwater. Question 35. What is the vertical main of a system of soil, waste, or vent piping extending through one or more stores and extended through the roof? A. Stack group. B. Standpipe. C. Stack. D. Vent. The answer? It's C. Stack. Stack. It is the vertical main of a system of soil, waste, or vent piping extending through one or more stores and extended through the roof. Stack. Question 36. Each outlet on the non-potable water line, which may be used for drinking or domestic purposes, shall be posted with a blank. Is it A. Non-potable water line. B. Danger, unsafe water. C. Poisonous water, beware. D. Undrinkable water. The answer? It's B. Danger, unsafe water. Danger, unsafe water. Each outlet on the non-potable water line, which may be used for drinking or domestic purposes, shall be posted with the sign, Danger, unsafe water. Question 37. When disposal facilities are abandoned consequent to connecting any premises with the public sewer, the permittee making the connection shall fill all abandoned facilities within how many days from the time of connection? A. 3 days. B. 90 days. C. 30 days. 
D. 120 days. The answer? It's C. 30 days. 30 days. When disposal facilities are abandoned consequent to connecting any premises with the public sewer, the permittee making the connection shall fill all abandoned facilities within 30 days from the time of connection. Question 38. In hospital wards, one bathtub or shower shall be provided per blank. A. 25. B. 10. C. 20. D. 15. The answer? It's C. 20. In hospital wards, one bathtub or shower shall be provided per 20. Question 39. Whenever screwed pipe joints were used for drainage piping, its fitting shall be a blank. A. Recessed drainage type. B. Straight drainage type. C. Reducing drainage type. D. Tap drainage type. The answer? It's A. Recessed drainage type. Recessed drainage type. Whenever screwed pipe joints were used for drainage piping, its fitting shall be of recessed drainage type. Question 40. Relief valve drain pipe shall extend from the valve to the outside of the building with the end of the pipe pointing downward and mounted above the ground at blank. A. 0.30 meters to 0.60 meters. B. 0.45 meters to 0.85 meters. C. 0.15 meters to 0.60 meters. D. 0.15 meters to 0.30 meters. The answer? It's C. 0.15 meters to 0.60 meters. 0.15 meters to 0.60 meters. Relief valve drain pipe shall extend from the valve to the outside of the building with the end of the pipe pointing downward and mounted above the ground at 0.15 meters to 0.60 meters. Question 41. What shall not be installed in toilet rooms? A. Drinking fountains. B. Shits bath. C. Lavatories. D. Vent. The answer? It's A. Drinking fountains. Drinking fountains shall not be installed in toilet rooms. Question 42. This type of copper tubing is the heaviest and is suitable for underground installation. It shall have a green colored strip bands. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's B. Type K. Type K copper tubing. This type of copper tubing is the heaviest and is suitable for underground installation. It shall have a green colored strip bands. Type K copper tubing. Question 43. This type of copper tubing is the thinnest and available only in a rigid form. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. Dot the answer? It's C. Type M copper tubing. Type M copper tubing. This type of copper tubing is the thinnest and available only in a rigid form. Type M copper tubing. Question 44. This type of copper tubing is lighter than type K and is available in both rigid and flexible form. It is commonly used in residential water supply line and for heating installations. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's letter A. Type L copper tubing. Type L copper tubing. This type of copper tubing is lighter than type K and is available in both rigid and flexible form. It is commonly used in residential water supply line and for heating installations. Type L copper tubing. Question 45. This type of copper tubing shall have a blue colored strip bands. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's A. Type L copper tubing. Type L copper tubing. This type of copper tubing shall have a blue colored strip bands. Type L copper tubing. Question 46. This type of copper tubing shall have a yellow colored strip bands. A. Type L. B. 
B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's D. Type DWV. Type DWV. This type of copper tubing shall have a yellow colored strip bands. Type DWV. Question 47. This type of copper tubing shall have a red colored strip bands. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's C. Type M copper tubing. Type M copper tubing. This type of copper tubing shall have a red colored strip bands. Type M copper tubing. Question 48. This type of copper tubing shall have a green colored strip bands. A. Type L. B. Type K. C. Type M. D. Type DWV. The answer? It's B. Type K copper tubing. Type K copper tubing. This type of copper tubing shall have a green colored strip bands. Type K copper tubing. Recap on the types of copper tubing and colors. There are four types and are each has their own colored strip bands. We have type K copper tubing with green colored strip bands. Type L copper tubing with blue colored strip bands. Type M copper tubing with red colored strip bands. And the type DWV tubing with yellow colored strip bands. Question 49. There shall be a minimum of how many drinking fountain per occupied floors in schools, theaters, auditoriums, dormitories, offices, or public building? A1. B2. C3. D4. The answer? It's A. 1. 1. There shall be a minimum of one drinking fountain per occupied floors in schools, theaters, auditoriums, dormitories, offices, or public building. 1. Question 50. Which of the following statement is not true about copper tube? A. Copper tubes for water supply piping shall have a weight of not less than the type L copper tubing. B. All materials used in any plumbing or drainage system shall be free from defects. C. Copper tube should be used for piping carrying chemical or industrial wastes. D. None of the above. The answer? It's C. Copper tube should be used for piping carrying chemical or industrial wastes. Things to know about copper tubes. Copper tubes for water supply piping shall have a weight of not less than the type L copper tubing. All materials used in any plumbing or drainage system shall be free from defects. Copper tube is prohibited for piping carrying chemical or industrial wastes. Break time. How was today's session? Refresher for Plumbing Code Part 3 will be on the next video. Don't forget to hit like. Click subscribe and ring that notification bell for more updates. Stay tuned.